what is up guys and welcome back to another video in just over 24 hours time the 2023-24 season will commence so you know what that means the match vlogs and the match previews will be back we've got our first match preview of the season Swindon Town as they face Colchester United so if you do like what you're watching today make sure to get down there hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so without further ado let's get straight into the video so obviously the season hasn't started yet, so the table really doesn't matter. However, I can tell you guys where I've got um, Swindon and Colchester to finish. So as you can see on the screen right now, I've done a video before on my predictions for League 2. So I've got Colchester to finish outside the relegation zone, 22nd place. And I've got Swindon to finish 5th. I can also tell you where both teams finished in the 2022-23 season. Swindon finished 10th with a total of 61 points. And Colchester finished 20th with a total of 49 points. So we were only separated by 12 points. So now we're going to be talking about the pre-season friendlies. Swindon's pre-season, it's been alright. We Our very last pre-season game, we managed to beat Plymouth Argyle 3-1, which was an absolutely amazing game, I must say. We also lost to Bristol City 7-1. We've lost to Swansea 5-0. We beat Melksham 5-0. Uh, and we beat Swindon Super Marine 2-0. I think, yeah, I forgot Caution as well. I can't remember what the score was for that, though. Uh, but what was it? Colchester. I can't remember all their preseason games. I knew they played uh, Molden, Tiptree, though, and I know they played um, Leighton Orient as their very last preseason game. They managed to win that one 2 1 with a 10th minute goal and a 55th minute goal for Colchester. So tomorrow afternoon, we're going to be seeing two familiar faces. One being the manager, Ben Garner. He used to manage winning in the 2021-22 season. He managed to get us to the playoffs. Unfortunately, we didn't do well. We lost on penalties in the semi-finals. Uh, but we're also going to be seeing Ellis Landolo. He's been at Swindon for seven years before joining Colchester. It's been a very ser it's been a seriously long amount of time, but he wasn't getting that much game time with Swindon. So it is understandable that he's gone to Colchester. So if you look at our head-to-head -head with Colchester, the last time we beat him was back uh, last season when we did beat him 1-0 at the county ground. But the last time we beat him at their ground was seven years ago. February 2016 was the last time we beat them at their ground. It was 4-1. I do hope we can end the seven-year winless uh, streak though because if we want to get at least playoffs or promotion, we're going to have to start off by having a good start in the first five, ten games. So obviously predicting lineups is going to be very, very tough this season, especially uh, for the very first game. So on the screen right now is my prediction for Swindon Town's lineup as they face Colchester tomorrow afternoon. So obviously we've got key players like Charlie Austin, Liam Kinsella in the midfield alongside Dan Kep and George McEachran. Got, got um, Godwin Malife, a centre-back. I'm not sure if he'll be available straight away because obviously we just signed him yesterday. But obviously there's no guarantee that we could be playing a 4-3-3 formation. We could be playing the typical 3-5-2 formation that Flynn um, normally plays. I'm not sure if he played that formation against Plymouth. I can't remember. But... That's my predicted lineup. We've got key players there like Charlie Austin, George McEachran alongside Kemp and Kinsella. We've got Godwin Malife in a centre back. I'm not sure if he'll be available because we literally signed him yesterday, um, yesterday afternoon. So um, yeah, that's my predicted lineup. If we play like we did against Plymouth in the preseason, there's literally nothing to worry about. We should be able to get back the three points, and I really do we hope we do do that. So now we're on to the final part of the video. It is my prediction. Now, like every single other game in the league, it is going to be very tough. Now, um, if we played like we did against Plymouth last week on Saturday, there's literally nothing to worry about. We should be able to win this game. Uh, my prediction, I reckon we'll do that. I reckon we'll win 3-1. It's going to be tough, especially at Colchester's ground. But I've got Charlie Austin to score. I reckon you'll score tomorrow. Rushenet Burr Murphy, he should do well as well. And you know what? I reckon Dan Kemp will score in his debut. That would be good. I want one of our new signings to score in their debut. That would be that would be amazing. Guys, that is the end of the match preview. The first match preview of the season is now done. My prediction is 3-1. Comment down below what your predictions are. Obviously, it's against the side like Colchester, especially away. It is going to be very, very tough. We haven't beat them away since seven years ago, so 2016. So, yeah. That's all from me. See you in the next one. Let's hope we can bag the three points. You know what to do. Chill.